Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McGady's Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. Before we hop into this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Don't know how I missed this one, but there has been an alleged leak about the upcoming Resident Evil 8 that has revealed more details about locations in the game and even boss fights. Now, recently there was a group of players who got a chance to play demos for the game and each demo showed off different locations. Now, the one demo focused on the village that we saw in the trailers, and the other focused on the castle that we also saw in the trailers too. Now, in the castle demo, one of the players described the boss as being similar to Marguerite Baker from Resident Evil 7, as this boss fought with insects as Marguerite did. Now, there was another boss a player described as the Gorilla Man, who was bound in chains and had a huge axe. And now this boss would painfully cry out for help as it tried to murder the game's protagonist, Ethan Winters. And there were other smaller enemies <laughs> with smaller axes who were said to join in this fight too. Just reading the description, that actually sounds pretty cute, but uh, it's probably quite terrifying. Now, players actually did encounter the enemies that everyone is talking about for this upcoming game, the werewolves. The players said that they actually did encounter these enemies and that they are extremely difficult to take down. They moved very fast and could apparently dodge bullets. That is terrifying. The players apparently wasted a ton of ammo trying to take these werewolves down. Now, this all sounds very promising and exciting. I, I know the werewolves have the fans divided a bit, but me personally, I'm very excited to see them and can't wait to encounter them and scream when I see them. <laughs> I'm infamous for screaming whenever I play Resident Evil games. The locale I'm most excited for, though, is the castle. It has like that gothic Victorian era vibe to it, and I cannot wait to explore it. It's got big Spencer Mansion vibes, and I can't wait. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Are you guys excited for the game? Um, what's your most favorite recent Resident Evil game? Uh, mine is the recent Resident Evil 2 remake, but what's yours? Let me know. Sound off in those comments below, and be sure to tap that bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Give this video a like, and we're almost at 200 subscribers, so if you could hit that subscribe button, that would really help the channel out. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that you are awesome. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.